friends, this is Rebecca with Village Farm Tiny Home Community. I am standing outside of the beautiful bungalow located at lot 22 here at Village Farm Tiny Home Community. We are, of course, centered around produce, regenerative agriculture, and this spot really highlights the entire purpose and intention of the community as it is looking out on the beautiful raised garden beds. This spot is so unique and it is the last tiny home available. Well, there could always be other homeowner resale listings here on the Founders Club side. So just down this road here, you have all of the great um, community amenities like hammocks, raised beds, fire pit, bocce ball, this spot is rocking, y'all, and it has a double driveway, which is really nice. So let's go ahead without further ado, and we'll step inside this tiny home here at Village Farm, the bungalow located at lot 22. Comment below if you'd like to set up a in-person property tour. But for now, let's go ahead and do a virtual showing. So thank you so much for joining. Okay, so I have the door open here, ready for us to step inside. And I just wanna highlight this front door is so cute. Oh, it's great. And here, um, right now the sun is setting and you just have this awesome view over Tiny Town. So beautiful. It was so awesome walking over here too, like all of our neighbors just outside, walking their dogs, such a beautiful sight and such beautiful people. I feel so blessed to live here and this is a unique opportunity to um, have this option available. This tiny home has a great living room. Your view is just incredible. Again, you're looking right out at the raised beds, the compost section. This is where they had their television. This is a resale listing. So that's where your um, entertainment center space would be, maybe a bookshelf. Um, this has plenty of space for a really nice size couch. Agora's like, it's so cozy, I love it in here. The flooring is super cute. The contrast of the dark wood color with the white walls. And these um, exposed beams are just super cute, very farm feel. Now, a lot of folks are working from home nowadays due to COVID, so this is the perfect spot for a little desk, maybe a recliner chair. And a lot of us will do the pull-out sofas here in the living room so that we have extra space just in case guests end up wanting to stay with us. Now um, we're heading into the kitchen. It is a galley-style kitchen. Look at all of that great storage, super high ceiling heights here. Um, in the kitchen, we do have some upgrades. So you'll notice it has this farm style sink. Perfect spot if you want more countertop space, you can even put your cutting board here. It's great if you're washing off produce fresh from the farm or from the raised garden beds. Beautiful view as you're doing your dishes. Looking right out at the sunset. I would plan my um, dishwashing for uh, 5.30 or 6 p.m. every night to have that fabulous view. One request that I constantly receive is for gas stove oven. So here, that's exactly what you get. Um, really great upgrade. And look at this modern vent hood. That's just fabulous. This kitchen is to die for. So much storage. You know, if you do like a Keurig or a little toaster oven, you've got plenty of countertop space. Stepping inside of the bathroom. Okay, so check it out, the shower head. You can actually move that around, take it off. Now, that's nice because if it was, you know, in one spot, um, there's a little bit less of an option with the direction the water goes. So there you have some flexibility. And it's a really nice size shower. Plenty of space for your shampoo and such. One unique thing about this bathroom is the countertop space. I mean, honestly, in a tiny home, usually your countertops psh, end right there. Look at all this extra space. I mean, you could really fit a lot of stuff 
their maybe your q-tips your hair straightener um, your toothbrushes all sorts of stuff if you have a cat this is a nice spot for the litter box just throwing that out there but obviously you could also you know put some cubes in there use it as storage plenty of storage underneath um, the sink and then you have some shelving that the previous owners have added and one of my neighbors has this design. She has just really cool artwork all the way up the wall. So one thing for tiny homes, folks often ask, well, where would I put all my artwork? There's not a lot of wall space, but you definitely have that here. Storage up above, maybe for things you don't use often. You've got a stackable washer dryer, actually the same brand in my tiny home and I really like it. And look at the bedroom, it's so cozy. One thing that's really nice, and I'm just gonna throw this out there, the Bedroom in here could fit a king size bed. So you're looking right out at the awesome view here. That's actually a concrete privacy fence, but guess what we have right here? That's a peach tree growing. Um, so there's really cute landscaping. You're looking right out at nature instead of looking right out at another house, which Agora approves that message. He likes nature. Okay, so this is the closet space, and that's actually a lot for a tiny home. I'm gonna be honest with you. I am so jealous of this closet. So up above, you could store maybe um, summer clothes that you're not using very often. Plenty of space here for hanging. And then also um, one unique feature about the bungalow is that you have enough space in this room for a dresser. So if you really needed extra storage, I always tell folks they might as well just put um, you know, their bed up on stilts and they can use under their bed for storage. That's what we do, but you also have plenty of space for a dresser. So just because it's 399 square feet does not mean that you will have to sacrifice your um, clothing or shoe collection. This is the outdoor patio which is awesome, it's super private. And it's, again, it's looking right out at nature. And this is a cool spot because back here, you know, I think that Shelby and Julio um, actually even had a little hammock, if I'm not mistaken. And so, you know, you could, there's actually quite a bit of space back here. And if you like to garden, then you would be super close to the raised garden beds. And just imagine sitting on this back patio, you know, sipping some wine, looking out on the string lights and the beautiful community and enjoying the company of your neighbors here at Village Farm Tiny Home Community. So thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate y'all's time. And if you are interested in this bungalow on lot 22, Please comment below, message us, or give us a call at the office. You can find our phone number on our website, villagefarmaustin.com. And we would be more than happy to book a in-person viewing. And who knows, maybe you will call this your home sweet tiny home someday. We'd love for you to join our agri -hood, And thank you again for tuning into this video.